Valentine is here. It's that time of the year again where a lot of people are showing love and they are getting gifts for their loved ones. And as a business owner, this is the perfect time for you to leverage this season and also make a lot of sales. Now, let me show you the right type of ad campaigns and the right type of targeting that you need to be creating this Valentine season to ensure that your product, your services or your packages will sell out this Valentine period. Let's go. I'm going to break this down into the right content that you should be creating and also the right type of ad objective that you should use to get the results that you want to get also i'm going to be talking about the right targeting that will help you achieve these sales that you need during this valentine period all right if you're just joining my youtube channel thank you so much for coming to watch this video do leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel so that you can see more videos from me and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos i do appreciate all the love and all the comments and all the thumbs up that you give me thank you so much everyone for engaging on all my videos now let's get straight into the video for today the first thing we're going to talk about is content if you are running any type of valentine sales or valentine campaign for your product or service the content is very important now when i say content you need to ensure that you're not creating content that is just the usual type of content that people create oh i'm selling valentine cake come and buy a valentine come and order your valentine package because you know that this is a season where a lot of business owners like you are creating a lot of packages for valentine so you need to find a way to make your content unique in its own way so that people can really just understand your own package and then they'll be able to go for it so ensure that you create a very lovely offer and ensure that your content is driving home this offer and making people understand what this offer is and why they need to take your offer ahead of every other person so whether you want to pay more attention in the quality of your own videos or you want to pay attention to the storytelling and how you want to bring the whole content to life so that it can really grab the attention of people and they can actually take your offer so it's important that you put in a lot of effort into the content that you want to create also ensure that your content is precise is short it's not so long i mean people really don't want to watch long videos again so ensure that your videos are short precise and straight to the point and immediately it can get the attention of people all right so ensure that is done now once you have all the content part done the next thing is we want to talk about the ad objective that you should use for this type of valentine campaign what ad objective should i use for this type of valentine campaign now let me show you right away from my system now you need to create a campaign that is going to be sending people to message you on instagram this is what we want to leverage for this type of advert now you need to understand that this type of advert requires a lot more conversation right you need to generate more conversations so i would advise that you create a messaging campaign which is the engagement ad right now for a lot of people that will be watching this please create this using the ads manager do not create this from your instagram direct ensure that you use the ads manager to create this okay so i'm going to click on the engagement right okay so i'm going to click on the engagement now when i click on the engagement i'll just click continue right and i'm going to use the manual engagement campaign and then click continue now what you need to understand is that for this type of campaign like i said let's go to the ad set level now for this type of campaign we're going to be creating a messaging app so we're going to be using messaging app as a conversation because we want people to message us that is the goal for this campaign remember that this is a valentine campaign so we are trying to get more sales for our valentine offers right so all you have to do is now of course the ad type should be click to message now choose the instagram page that you want to use okay so let me just select an instagram page here so let's say we've chosen our instagram page right here now because we are sending this advert to instagram all we have to do is to click the instagram we don't want to use whatsapp we don't want to use except if you want to use whatsapp if you feel like using whatsapp that's fine but for this type of campaign our advice you use instagram for the messaging uh app okay so i've chosen instagram as the messaging app of course the performance goal is going to be maximizing number of conversations because you know that this is what is important to you for this app. i mean the more conversations that you can get in the more you'll be able to convert people the more results you're going to be able to get on people taking your valentine packages right so once you have selected the um number of maximized number of conversations then the budget now expect that for, for a lot of businesses you must have separated a budget that you want to use for this campaign because of course you've been planning valentine's since last year right you know that valentine is going to come and of course you must have separated a budget for it now our advice that you do 
anything above 5,000 Naira daily for your ad budget. Now, if you want the best of results, you can do anything about $10, which is about 10,000 plus. $10 daily will give you good results with this type of campaign that I'm about to show you, okay? So let's say uh, we're using 10,000 Naira daily for this campaign. Okay, so I put that budget there. It's a daily budget, okay? Now, you can set an end date if you want, or you can just leave it turned off, and then your ad keeps running, and you have to manually turn it off when you don't want it to run again, okay? Right now, um, budget scheduling, we're not doing this, okay? So we're coming to this audience, I mean, location, right? Now, for the location, my advice is that you stick to the places where you can actually, um, you can actually offer delivery, right? You, I mean, this is Valentine package. You don't want to be in Lagos and then you're trying to deliver to somebody in Abuja. Even though it's possible, it's going to cost you a lot more stress. So I advise that for this Valentine package, strictly do it within the location where you reside so that you can easily service people on delivery. You can easily deliver. And then, I mean, you cut a lot of stress for this type of campaign. Okay. So please go ahead and do. So let's say I'm in Lagos. I'm going to focus this campaign in Lagos only right? Only Lagos, but I'm going to increase my radius. The radius I want to serve, I'm going to re increase it to about a 40 to 50 mile radius, right? That means that it's going to cover a large part of Lagos, okay? So 40 to 50 mile radius, but if you know that you might not be able to um, service a lot of people in Lagos, you can reduce it to about 20, um, 20 mile radius, okay? So let's have that done. Once that is done, now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come to this Advantage Plus audience, right? So this Advantage Plus audience, I want to just show you exactly what I'm going to be doing here. Now, normally what I would do is I would switch to original audience options. What that means is that I'm going to switch to the normal options where I'm going to force Facebook to use this particular interest that I want, this particular age range, use them. I'm going to like restrict them to using that. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm not going to switch to original audience. I'm going to click on the audience suggestion, right? I'm going to click on it here. Why am I doing this? I'm going to be giving... Now, this audience, Advantage Plus audience, means that I'm going to be letting Facebook or Meta, I'm going to let them control and automatically find my audience. So what I'm going to do is everything I'm going to be adding here the age range, the gender, the detail targeting, there will be a sort of suggestion to help the technology to find the best audience for me. So it's like I'm suggesting that, okay, if you find audiences that are between this age and this age and they are this gender and then they are interested in these kind of things, you can target them for me or target people similar to these. So that's more or less like a suggesting or a suggestion for the meta technology, right? So that is what we are going to be using, okay? Now, if you have a custom audience, you can add it, right? If you have a custom audience, you can add it as part of the suggestion because you know that your custom audience are people who already engage with you. And that could be like a more effective suggestion to help the technology. So you can choose to do this, um, I mean, custom audience. But no, I'm not going to do that. But if you want to, you can, like I said. So age, I'm going to come here and I'm going to use 23 to... I'm going to beg you to please use 23 to 45 for this type of Valentine campaign that we're running. 23 to 45. And then for the gender, I'm going to use both male and female because you, I mean, both male and female can buy um, Valentine packages for their loved ones. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, when we come to the detailed targeting, I need you to pay close attention to this. If you have watched this far, please subscribe. But I need you to pay close attention to this part. Now, when it comes to detail targeting, I'm going to start by entering Valentine, right? Because that's what, that's what we're trying to do, right? Now, if you enter Valentine, you see it here, Valentine's Day holiday, right? Valentine's Day is what I'm going to start with. And then I'm going to click on the suggestion. It's not going to suggest some other things to me relating to love and Valentine. Now, let me see. First one here is gifts. I'm going to click that. Makes a lot of sense. Second one here is gift shop. Okay. That's also needed. In a relationship, that's also needed. People who are engaged, also needed. Now, we can come here, newly engaged. I want recent newly engaged people because love is still shocking them and they want to buy gifts for their loved ones. So let's say newly engaged, three months, newly engaged, six months. Then we're going to look for newly wed also. There's something like that. Newly wed, three months. Newly wed, one year. No, love is not shocking them again. Let's go to... Okay, we could still do newly, newly wed, one year. Newlywed one year, newlywed six months, gift card, okay? 
then you can now enter some of the things that you are trying to sell. So here is for a food. So I'm doing online food ordering. I'm also going to enter things like home delivery, um, fast food. Now, this is because the ad or the page I'm doing this for is a food vendor. So I'm going to just curate this kind of thing. So after I've added some of the Valentine and love related interest, I'm going to just mix it with some of my niche, my niche interest, whether it is wristwatch whatever gift item that you sell or whatever package you have just enter in a few of your niche interest right so once this is done the next thing we're going to do is to come here to the placement of course the placement is going to be manual placement and it's going to be instagram by default so that is all fine the next thing now don't bother about the conversion where it says based on how your ad is set you may get you may not get any result don't bother about that because usually it's just an estimation and it doesn't really mean that that is exactly what is going to happen. So most and most of the time in my years of running ads, this thing has always been zero <laughs> and I still end up to get messages. My clients still end up getting results regardless of what is showing here. OK, so once we do this, the next thing you want to do is to click next. Right. So this is the last part of your ad. All you have to do is just basically enter in your content and then put in your caption and then publish your ad. Your ad is going to be approved and then your ad is going to be active. I hope this helps somebody. If you've watched this video thus far, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also give me a thumbs up so that a lot of people can see this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video helps you. You can also leave a comment to let me know where you're watching from and how this video has helped you. I'm going to see you in the next video.